Hey, uh, today we wanted to show you uh, a tutorial about um, the, the mobile recorder for Android. Uh, so I'm going to open up the app here from my home screen uh, and it's going to ask me for my credentials to sign in. So I'm going to pause while I enter those in. Okay, so I signed in and I'm opening up the app here. Um, and then the first thing that you'll see is the list of available tests that you have for you. Uh, so you can see the instructions here, uh, the test number, you can either decline or accept the tests. Uh, tapping decline will decline it. You can also swipe them to the left or right to decline the tests if you want. Uh, if you go into the menu at the top left, you can see all the different options. Um, tests for other devices. Uh, this lists all of the tests that you have available to you, uh, but the ones that aren't available to take on this specific device. So you can see that this one is for a tablet, which I'm not using. This one's for an iPhone. Uh, this one's an iPhone camera test. So that's the list, and you can only decline these because you can't actually accept them on the current device. And then we'll go back to available tests. Um, you can manually refresh the list of tests by tapping in the arrow in the corner there. Um, the list will automatically refresh itself every 60 seconds also. <clears throat> um, if you go back into the menu, you can see that your star rating is here at the top. Um, oops, <laughs> your pending payment uh, for me right now is zero. And then you can see your username um, and your and your name at the top also. Um, so right now we're going to actually go ahead and accept this test. Um, so it says to find a quiet, distraction-free place, which I've done. I'm going to speak my thoughts out loud, and I'm going to do my best to complete each task before I move on. So I'm going to hit next. Uh, right now this is the audio check, so I'm going to speak up a little more loudly to get past that point there. And then you can see once you make it past the little arrow, the next button will show up. So this screen is showing you uh, how to navigate between the app uh, that's being tested or the website that you're on and the user testing app itself. Um, since this, on most Samsung devices that have this hard home button, you can press and hold on that and that will bring up the list of recents like this. Um, and then, for example, if I was testing this Google page, I would tap on that and then I can get back to the user testing app by switching back and forth there. So then I'm actually going to go ahead and tap on start recording. It's going to count down. You can see at the top here, uh, the mic icon lights up when I'm talking louder. And this red line at the top here is actually indicates that I'm recording. And if I pause, you'll see that it turns blue and it says recording is paused. Um, and then if you hit that, it'll, it'll uh, start recording again. Um, So now we're just going to kind of go through uh, taking the test. One, one thing that you should know is you can access the menu from within the test and you can actually use the um, view scenario and URL if, if you forget which site you're supposed to be testing or you can uh, report a problem from there as well. So if you tap on that link, um, it'll take you to the site that you should be testing. Um, I'm going to move quickly through the tasks just because this is sort of a test. Uh, but if this were a real test, you'd actually want to spend time uh, on the on the website itself. So you can see uh, the task will be laid out here. Um, you can go back if you need to go to the previous task. Hitting next will bring you forward. And I'm just going to type something simple there again just because this is a test. Uh, so then you'll get this screen that says please provide any additional comments, questions, suggestions. Um, if you have anything else to say, now is your last chance to say it. Once you hit stop recording, uh, it won't record anything else that you're saying. And then these are the post-test written questions, just like on a desktop test. I'm just going to put a high for all these. Again, just because this is a sample. Uh, and then as soon as you hit this done button, uh, the test will be done and your upload will start. You can see there's a little blue progress bar there that shows how fast it goes. Um, so this was a really short test, so it shouldn't really take that long to upload. All right, and then it'll take you back to your list of tests, and you're done.